Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this particular video, I will give you some of the websites that you can use to learn Python for free. Now Python has different use cases. You can use Python for web development, data science, machine learning, game development, web scraping and many more. So based on your goals and interests, you can learn Python for different things. So now we will divide Python in different stages. The first stage is learning about basics and the fundamentals. Now this is where you will learn the basics of Python that you cannot skip. Second stage is learning about intermediate concepts such as working with different file format, how to handle exception, defining class in Python and many more things. And the third stage is where you will pick up your final niche. Now if you want to learn Python for data science then you will have to learn about different data science libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. If you want to master Python for web development then you can learn about Flask, Django, all of the different frameworks that is available in Python. And if you want to learn Python for machine learning then you can prepare according to that. And if you do learn something then make sure you hit the like button and without wasting time let's get started. So number one website on the list is learnpython dot org now this particular website is supported by DataCamp. So whenever we decide to learn Python, the number one thing we will be learning is the basics. Python basics are the fundamental concept that you need to learn in order to master the programming language. Now these basics include like learning about how to print hello world. So you will start with that. Then we have like variables, types, then list, basic operators, string formatting, condition, loops, function, class, objects. Now these concepts are the fundamental concept of any programming language. You will find these concepts in all of the major programming language. So these you cannot miss. Now once you learn this, then comes the second part is learning Python for specific niche. Now if you are preparing for data science and if you are learning Python for data science, then this will also teach you NumPy. Py, NumPy is a package inside Python that you can use to work with numbers. This particular package is highly used in data science. And then we have Pandas that is used for data manipulation. So if you are working in data science or in general data sector, then you will be using pandas a lot to manipulate data, read data and write data in different file formats. Now, after you learn all of these things, then it comes the advanced tutorial. Now inside the advanced concept of Python, you will find a lot of different things such as list comprehension, generator, regular expression, sets, serialization. These concepts are a little bit advanced. So if you already know the basics and if you want to deep dive into Python and master this particular programming language, so you can learn this advanced concept and grow in your career. Second website on the list is W3School. Now this website is one of my favorite website because I really like the UI of this particular website and you will find everything you need to know to learn basics of Python. So as we already talked about the basic fundamentals of Python that includes such as basics of syntax, how to comment, variables, data types and all of these things are basic. So you can easily read about such as creating variables. Python has no command for declaring variables. A variable is created moment you assign value to it. Now you can also try it by yourself. So you can directly go here, just run the code and get the output over here. If I let's say if I uh, put the xs5 and ys john and if I want to print those value then it will directly print it over here Now you can also play with this instead of 5 you can put it over 6 and instead of This name you can put your name over here and try it by yourself and what type of output it gives So this makes learning easier and much more interactive so you can do and learn with that again on w3 school you will find everything you need to learn to master python so once you're done with your basic concept then you can deep dive into classes inheritance iterators scopes these are some of the advanced and object oriented concept if you want to learn those then you can go and learn it and then once you are done with this then you can also learn about the file handling if you are preparing python for data science data engineering then file handling is some of the most important thing you cannot miss so make sure if you're learning python learn how to work with different file formats so this particular section will teach you that then again if you want to learn advanced concept then you can learn numpy pandas and some of the other libraries and it will also teach you matplotlib that is used for visualization so if you want to get into data science then you can learn matplotlib then we have machine learning and all other things so you can go by this particular section and learn more about it number three on the list is realpython.com so this particular website is also good you will find a lot of different things on this Number one is learning path. So if you want to master Python in specific niche or specific area, then you will get that particular thing over here. So if you want to just learn Python for acing your coding interviews, then you can follow this part. If you want to learn Python for web development, then you can do that. If you want to learn Python for data collection, data science, visualization, DevOps, Django, Flash, a lot of different paths are available. So you can choose your path and become master of that particular niche and build your career into that. And they also have different things such as quizzes, podcast books so you can refer them and if you want to deep dive into that then you can do that so one of the best way to learn anything is by doing real hands-on practice so once you do and learn this basic concept that you can also learn from here it's up to you what website works for you so you can use w3school learnpython.com or whatever works for you it doesn't matter 
once you know and learn basic concept then you can try to do hands on practice using small projects such as how to publish open source python package so if you want to learn how to publish your own package then you can learn that how to build url shortener so if you have seen like bitly or tiny url and if you want to build your own application then you can do that then some of the other concepts such as linear regression and all the different things you will find these things are submitted by people inside the community so you will learn from them you can interact with them and learn more about it so they also have like different community channels so you can join that and learn from the community so number fourth on the list is we have full stack python now this particular website is for those people who want to learn everything about python from all the different angles so if you want to become a full stack full stack is basically means person who also does front end back end database and everything so one person can do multiple jobs and if you want to do that and if you want to learn and become a full stack python developer then this particular website will give you the entire roadmap and also give you the different resources to master that so again it will start with the basics such as like learning python language then it will give you some overview of different text editors shells terminals we'll talk about version control then it will deep dive into different database so as a full stack developer you also need to learn about multiple database multiple servers and all the other things so you will learn about relational database object relation mapper so these are some of the packages that you can use to access the database no sql database how to do data analysis using python then web development so there are multiple frameworks available in python django flask so you can choose and learn about it and you can deep dive into web development more if you learn these things such as learning about web design javascript unit testing and all the other things so you can go through the list learn whatever works for you and master that particular topic if you want to grow in your career number 5th on the list is pythonspot.com now this particular website again it will start with the basics so you will learn all the fundamentals such as variable list if statement function scope loops range then again it will deep dive into some of the advanced concept of the python that we saw in some other websites such as how to read file how to write file object and the classes different encapsulation method overloading inheritance polymorphism now these concept you will find in major object oriented programming language so if you have work with the java or c++ then you will be able to relate to these concepts so again if you want to deep dive into python then you can do this you will also learn about how to read write files web development using python how to build graphical user interface using python some networking concept plotting and advanced concept using python so again it will teach you everything using python collect what works for you and ignore if you don't want to do those again it depends on your goal what you want to learn so select only things that works for you and ignore everything else number 6 on the list is automate boring stuff using python now if you have been following me i always say that best way to learn anything is by doing hands on practice now this particular website or a book they also have the ebook and also have the course on udemy so if you want that i will link that particular thing in the description but this particular website or this particular book is really good if you want to learn python by doing hands on practice so so what this particular website will teach you again it will start with the basics of python that we already learned from all the other website then it will teach you some of the other concepts such as how to do web scraping using python so if you go to this particular link then you will see all the different concepts that you need to understand how to web scrape using python so if you want to learn how to extract data from web pages then you can do that using web scraping so it will teach you that then after that it will teach you how to work with different file formats such as excel google spreadsheet pdf csv file then there are other concepts that you can learn and master python if you want to deep dive into it so this particular thing is really good if you want to do and learn things by hands on practice and the last is learning from the python documentation now if you are a beginner then it might be a little bit difficult for you to understand the documentation because documentation is purely technical and people generally ignore reading documentation but i want you guys to get in the habit of reading documentation because most of the error you will face or the problems you face in real world can be easily solved if you read the documentation carefully so if you want to learn anything the best way to learn is by reading documentation because documentation is the actual source how that particular thing is built on the first place if you want to deep dive into python after learning the basics of python then go to the documentation read about the function what it does what it returns how, what types of argument it takes and how it works behind the scene then you can do that using python documentation so whenever you get stuck and if you can't find the answer then the documentation is the place where you can go if you are still watching this particular video then comment below i watched this video till the end and also if you learn something new then don't forget to hit the like button and if you want more of this content then you can click on the subscribe button and get more of this content in the future thank you for watching see you in the next video